Okay, so you're currently watching me through my webcam, but you won't be able to hear this aircon on full blast beside me or hear me clapping, which is really strange. That's because you're listening to me through NVIDIA's new RTX voice plugin. It's AI driven noise reduction, and if I switch it off, everything should sound normal, like you're sitting in this room. But if I switch it back on, the only thing you can hear is my voice, which is pretty damn impressive. Switch it back off, and everything's back to normal. Cool. And if you're anything like me, one moment, you're working from home. You've got Zoom sessions or Skype with your business, or you're talking to family and friends with a lot of background noise happening, or maybe even just typing away, taking notes in a meeting. All of this noise can be removed on the fly with this RTX voice. Now this is made possible because the application middlemans itself between your microphone and whatever application you're using it for. It could even be live streaming. Now today's video I'm going to go over three things. Firstly, we're going to set it up. I'm going to show you how easy it is. It's pretty much two buttons. Secondly, I'm going to test it to its limits and make a lot of noise. And with doing that, I'm going to show you the third option, which is using it for pre-recorded content or output in general, and how you can loop that back and re-record things on the fly, which in turn will prove it to you that I'm not doing anything crazy here, that that aircon was actually running and I was clapping my hands. Let's get into it. So to get started, you're gonna need an RTX graphics card, hence the name RTX Voice. There are some workarounds to get it working with some old GTX 10 series, which I'll link below. However, I don't expect that to work forever once this is out of beta. Next up, make sure your drivers are all up to date and then download the plugin from the description below. Once you install it, it's gonna look like this. It's gonna have two options. It's pretty basic. You set your input and output. Now during installation, it also installs two sound drivers, one in your recording option and one in your playback. Let's bring them up now. With those options, you're gonna set them as your default in and out. And then whatever you used to have set as your in and out, you set that in the RTX voice application. Now you can toggle the background noise reduction on and off and change the amount, but I tend to find that 100% has been working pretty good so far. Now that's pretty easy to set up if you're using a normal headset microphone or audio from your webcam. But I have an XLR microphone that I use with an external audio interface that routes into my computer. So to get that running, I use a virtual soundboard. This is known as Voice Meter Banana and I've done a video on the channel showing you how to set that up before. Now this already middlemans my microphone's connection. So to get that to work with NVIDIA, had to do a little bit of jigging, about an hour to get this to work, but I will show you in a moment how to do that if you have external audio cards. But first we're gonna to go to the laundry and make a racket. And then I'm gonna to prove to you in real time with Voice Meter Banana that this works. Let's go. Okay, so now that we're in the laundry, I'm gonna turn on this dryer bang on this pot and steam this shirt, also by talking to you. Take that video, chuck it into Premiere Pro. Take the audio that goes out through my Windows control panel, then gets fed to RTX Voice, then loop it back into Voice Meter Banana, transform that into a microphone input, feed it back to Premiere Pro all at once. So you can see the waveform going out with all of the bangs, the hums and the clangs. We'll then play that video straight back through to you you can see the difference, or hear the difference. Let's do it. Okay, turning on the dryer. I am picking up the steaming iron, and steaming, and banging on the pot. This is me talking to you with NVIDIA RTX voice with noise background reduction. How good is it working? I don't know. Okay, so now we've got this track direct from RTX Voice. You can see there's no peaks or sound floor. So we'll just mute the original audio and give it a listen. Okay, turning on the dryer. I am picking up the steaming iron and steaming and banging on the pot. This is me talking to you with NVIDIA RTX Voice with noise background reduction. How good is it working? I don't know and banging on the pot. This is me talking to you with NVIDIA RTX voice with noise background reduction. How good is it working? I don't know. Now this is a bit more of a real world situation. I'm just clanging away on my keyboard here and I'm gonna turn it on. 
and you shouldn't be able to hear my keyboard anymore. If I might be taking meeting notes or playing a game live streaming, normally you would hear all of those keys clickety clacking. These are Cherry MX Brown mechanical switches on my Corsair K95 Platinum, but with the uh, RTX audio on, you can't hear them. Great use. So how much of a performance hit does this take? Well, for one input or output, it's 700 megabytes of VRAM. And for your second, it's an extra 100 megabytes. That means in my case, on my RTX 2070 eight gigabyte graphics card, that's a 10% potential performance hit. So it is pretty dramatic. So if you've got an NVIDIA RTX card in your gaming PC or in your laptop, then this is definitely something to check out. If you've got an external audio interface, then pause this screen right now to see my routing through Voice Meter Banana. Remember to check out my setup video in the description below. With that configuration, I have one virtual microphone out, which is a clean feed. I can use that for voice over work and a second virtual microphone that has the processing on top. You can feed that to Zoom or something like your game chat client. I then also have two output configurations. The standard is through my speakers or headphones, untouched audio, and the second loops it back through RTX voice to post process and output. So that could be a song or a YouTube video. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up down below. And if you loved it, consider clicking subscribe. My name is Cam and I make tech videos and I hope to see you here next week. Until then, maybe click whatever's coming up here on the screen or that voice meter banana tutorial. And most importantly, thank you for watching. See ya.